Well, if you're one of millions of Americans banking on multivitamins to make you healthier, you may not be doing your body any favors. A series of recent medical studies show that multivitamins have no proven health benefits and may be doing more harm than good. According to an editorial in the Annals of Internal Medicine, quote, the message is simple. Most supplements do not prevent chronic disease or death. Their use is not justified, and they should be avoided. This message is especially true for the general population, with no clear evidence of micronutrient deficiencies who represent most supplement users in the United States and in other countries. Well, that conclusion is based on three large-scale studies. But about half of Americans take a daily multivitamin, making dietary supplements a profitable industry. Take a look. The vitamin industry rakes in $12 billion a year just for multivitamins and $30 billion a year total for dietary supplements. But not everyone totally agrees with the study. Critics say the findings apply to Americans that get enough nutrients from food naturally. But high obesity rates and difficulty getting affordable healthy foods leave socioeconomically disadvantaged people nutritionally deficient. The health food industry is a very minuscule part of the overall um, f you know, food industry. And so their foods, uh, while having some of them getting some subsidies, it's minuscule compared to the big agribusinesses. So the cost of food is, is greater. And two is that a time to prepare takes longer. The best way to stay healthy, experts agree, is to get your nutrients from real, nutritious foods rather than pills. The number one tip is uh, the age-old nutrition advice that my grandmother gave me, which is eat your fruits and vegetables, and you know choose your lean meats, choose um, low-fat dairy products. All of those very common sense nutrition tips. According to this most recent medical consensus, for the most part, taking vitamins and other supplements is a waste of time and money. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.